Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm bringing you another clothing haul. I seem to love them. I love them, so why not? <laughs> so I have been shopping today. I went to Primark, Zara, and also some charity shops, which I feel like I haven't really spoke about much on my channel yet, but it's definitely something that I want to speak more about because i do generally go into charity shops quite a lot like i love it um and i do sometimes find some gems and i've definitely found some gems today that i feel like will inspire you guys to go to your nearest charity shop and just pick up some bits like don't be afraid to do it sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming because i feel like there's sometimes a bit of everything when you go to a charity shop but you just have to look and once you look you can find some right gems like today i there was this chanel like jumper that someone had like put behind um they were coming to get it after and i was looking at it like i was like is that for sale and they were like oh someone's coming to get it like they've just put it aside he's like but they haven't been back for like an hour so if it's not if they don't come back in the next hour then we're gonna put it back on sale but i'd already left um shopping by the time I didn't have time to basically go back and see if it was still there but like a chanel jacket was in the charity shop so you get some right gems like honestly you just have to be patient so yeah i'm gonna show you what i got from the charity shops but i'll do that in a second first thing i'm going to talk about is primark so let's get straight into it also we'll have to excuse i don't have any makeup on today i just didn't feel like wearing makeup and this is me pretty much 90% of the time so this is the Primark bag I'm really sorry about this lighting I feel like I am using natural light and the sun is kind of setting um as you can see like it's reflecting on my door but it's kind of okay right now so please excuse when I hold things up that you can see the sun on the bag but I'm just trying to make the most of the natural lighting because it's like six o'clock and it's still light outside which i'm loving so let's just appreciate that so most of the things i got from primark were for holiday i'd say um i am going away in like 20 days so i was thinking a lot about holiday so i did pick up a couple things for there the first things i picked up were these toiletry Kind of bags i love these um every time i go on holiday i use these um i do tend to find that sometimes the zips break hence why i've got some new ones only if i'm like really putting so much in the bags that the zip just kind of bursts um so i did pick up some new ones um but they are really really good and they last quite a while like that one saw me through the whole year um so i just picked up some new ones for this year uh, these are a pack of three so there's like a big one a medium and a small one so i find that really helpful for like creams sun creams and the big one and then like more little things like hair bands and stuff like that and i just like these because you can see everything i kind of i'm quite visual i know that sounds stupid but whenever i'm packing like i just want to be able to see what i'm packing like so i can definitely know wh where which is which i also have um one of these and it has my jewelry in it so i can literally see what kind of jewelry i have because if i can't see it i forget about it so these are really handy um especially going on holiday and then this one is very similar again it's see-through um toiletry set but it's just more of like a square kind of shape um so I will definitely think I will put my makeup in here. I do have makeup bags, um, but again, I like these ones because I can see what makeup's in there. So yeah, there's just the big one and then there's also a little one. It's like square, but just a little bit tiny. This would be quite good for makeup brushes. So yeah, these were five pounds each. The next thing I picked up uh, were these. If you know, I think I've spoke about these before these are literally what i live in um i just love these they're so comfortable and i love how many different colors they are in primark haven't actually got this color yet and i just thought this color looked really summery um and especially for holiday i feel like this is very holiday vibes um so pick this up um these were actually on the sale as well from six pounds to three pounds so can't really go wrong so comfortable if you have never tried these i don't know 
where you've been your whole life because these are like so comfortable i don't wear any other bras except from these i then picked up the trusty primark flip-flops one pound for these i got a black pair and also this nice pink pair these have actually gone up in price these were 90p last year and now they're a pound um but they're still really really good a pound and i just buy these every year just because like i say they're a pound um but they're just really handy to have just to put on when you're on holiday and if you ruin them it doesn't really matter because like i say they're a pound then the last thing i got from primark was these gorgeous sandals sandals flip-flops one or the other i'd say they're sandals flip-flops oh, i don't know but yeah i got picked these up um just thought they were really nice um i love the stripe black and white and I feel like they will go with a lot, obviously, because they're black and white. Um, so these will be really handy, again, for holiday, um, just to have, I think they're, okay, they're like a collaboration. Paula, Paula someone times Primark. So it's obviously a collection they've brought out. But these were £9 and they feel really good quality, like they're not just going to snap quite thick. Um and yeah stern so that's that's always good and then i also picked up some grips okay moving on to zara um picked up a couple bits from zara i also did an online well i bought one thing from online which i'll show you in a minute um but yeah i picked up a couple things mainly basics um just because i don't know there was just a lot of basics that I found in, in Zara today. So the first thing I picked up was one of these tops, which I love these tops. These are literally my favorite tops ever. I do actually already have one of these, but they do get a bit grubby after a while, obviously because they're white. Um, and I have had mine like for a year now. So it's definitely lasted. Um, so I picked up a new fresh one just for coming into the summer. Um, I just love the style of these like the racer kind of neck tops they just they're just flattering and they go with everything and they're just easy to put on literally with anything um so this was 5.99 i picked this up in a small um but yeah like i say basic but really really necessary the next top i picked up was this vest top don't ever really have vest tops um this is really like not really never own like i said i just don't own vest tops um so this was a little bit different for me but i just i saw it and i just really like it um i definitely feel like vest tops i'm gonna try and wear them um especially this summer i feel like this will look really really nice in the summer uh with like a denim skirt or a denim shorts um yeah, I just thought this is really, really nice. And it's obviously like in this stripe pattern, um, which again, I really like. Not normally something that I would reach for. This was 8 99 again in a size small. So yeah, I'm super excited to wear this. Um, next up I got was this, again, this ribbed material. I'm obsessed with this colour. I love this colour so much. It's kind of like this charcoal grey colour. I just really like this and I love this. I think it's the, yeah, it's at the Seamless, Seamless Collection, which obviously is so nice, so comfortable, really stretchy. Um, and I just, I get, like I say, I'm obsessed with the colour. This is a bodysuit. I feel like this will look really, really nice again in the summer. Um, could just see it going with everything. Kind of like a vest top as well, again, um, but obviously in like a bodysuit form. Um, so this was, I don't know why it's in euros, but it says 13 euros. I think it's something like 10 pounds probably um, in pounds. Um, and I picked this up in a medium. And the last top I got from Zara was again, another racer neck. I'm obsessed with this color again. I'm really liking green at the minute, but not like, well, I say not bright green, that the set that I bought is bright green, but I'm loving this kind of like, it's kind of khaki, but like a light khaki. Um, I have a tracksuit very similar to this colour uh, from Primark, which I just fell in love with the colour. 
um so yeah when i saw this color i thought i cannot say no and obviously obviously it's in that racer neck style top which as you know i love so just couldn't say no to this and again only 5.99 so i feel like that's really good for zara because i feel like sometimes the price of these like just normal basic tops can be quite a lot but 5.99 is good and the last thing i got from azara was the viral jacket denim jacket i have put off getting this jacket for so long and then it's out of stock so i felt like that was making me think no don't get it but then my friend got it lauren and she was wearing it and i just fell in love with it like she looked unreal in it so i thought oh, i just gonna bite the bullet and go for it um, and when I looked online, they didn't actually have, I wanted a medium, but they didn't actually have that in stock. They had an extra large and then an extra small. So I thought I'll order both sizes and see which one I prefer because I do want to wear this with like hoodies underneath and like basically have it really oversized. But then I thought extra large might be a bit too big. So I ordered both and it turns out that I just love the oversized look. So I did end up sticking with the extra large. But to be honest, I must say, like, I got an extra small and an extra large. And the, the size difference in both of them, you wouldn't think that there was that much difference. You'd probably think one of them was a medium, one of them was a large. But from an extra small and an extra large, I really, I could tell the difference. But not drastically that I thought I'd be able to. So if your size isn't in stock, then definitely just order an, a size up or a size down. Because to be quite honest, like... There was not much in them two sizes and they're both like literally on the other end of the spectrum of sizes so yeah just keep that in mind that the sizing you kind of can go with anything um so yeah this is the jacket i got the crop jacket i've also done the hairband trick which basically keeps the belt together because that is one thing with this jacket the belt comes off but now i've done that solved all my problems um, so yeah, pick this up um, and to be quite honest, I'm obsessed with it. I really wish I wasn't because of how popular it is, but it's popular for a reason because this jacket is unreal. Uh, it goes with everything, so yeah. Moving on, I've actually just got a parcel, which my dad brought in. Um, this is from TikTok and I don't know about anyone else, but peaches and cream, like my mum used to go up to Liverpool just to go and get peach and cream makeup and she'd always bring me something back and I was obsessed with it when I was younger and then I saw on TikTok that they were selling peach and peaches and cream makeup so I was like oh my god like throwback it felt like I was young again but their stuff's actually really really nice um so I thought I'd try these these are the creamy lip liners from peaches and cream the colors when I saw them online looked unreal they're all like these really really nice nude colors you get five lip liners in these um so these are the colors obviously they're all like just different shades of nude um but they all look stunning and they're like my go-to shades so i'm really excited to try these i am actually filming a first impression impressions video for makeup um so i might actually add these guys in that video the shades that i picked up um if you're wondering are fairline hotline preline borderline and punchline they're all the different shades um so yeah i'm really excited to try them um i don't know whether i said in my last haul but i had never shopped on tiktok shop before until a couple weeks ago and then now i'm just obsessed like it's so addictive <laughs> okay so the last things i got were from the charity shop um probably the best things that i got today like i was so excited about these can't even tell you so i've been looking for a blazer like a oversized black blazer for a while like i was just very particular on how i wanted it to fit i didn't want it to be too tight i wanted it to be really oversized but then also i didn't want it to have like really big um padded shoulders i looked a bit like big on my shoulders 
so I was trying to find one of them for a while and I was actually going to go and pick up the Zara one um which was like I don't know 60 pounds um literally was going to order it the other day but anyway good job I didn't because I went into this charity shop um can't actually remember the name of this charity shop but I do go into so many charity shops, not just one particular one. So yeah, I went in there, not expecting to find anything. And then all of a sudden there's like a rail of blazers. Um, and I was like, right, okay, let's have a look. And then I found these two. I couldn't just get one, obviously. I did pick up two. So I will show you these stunning blazers. So this is the first one. This is the black blazer that I have been on a hunt for, um, for so long. So this is just, it's not just an ordinary black blazer, guys. This is a Hugo Boss, <laughs> Hugo Boss, as you can see right there, Hugo Boss black blazer. It's obviously men's, um, but don't let that scare you because men blazers are actually a lot better than women blazers. The quality of them, unreal, and the like oversizedness is just a lot nicer i feel like anyway so yeah this was obviously considering this is hugo boss this was 15 pounds and i've actually had a look online and they retail for like 200 pounds like 180 to 200 pounds like these hugo boss blazers so when i saw this for 15 pounds i was like wow and i obviously tried it on and i because the fit is very important for me um so i made sure that i i like the fit um i will try this on we'll have to get on the bed and show you it though so let me try it on for you guys oh my god you can't really see me <laughs> let me just bend down this is the blazer honestly i am obsessed i will come a bit closer so you can see but like the fit is just exactly what i was looking for oversized loads of room but don't look heavy on the top half you know um so yeah imagine this styled i'm going to paris in like i know the end of june and i just feel like this in paris with like tights little leather skirt oversized black blazer hugo boss black blazer it's just a, it's yeah i'm really feeling it and you know i've just always wanted a black blazer that looks nice but also one that i just love the fit of and this literally is given that so so excited when i found this in a charity shop for 15 pounds so please guys don't be afraid of charity shops they are one of the best things ever because you find bargains like this and there is literally nothing wrong with this jacket at all it is like in perfect condition perfect quality so yeah Obviously, I couldn't go in there and just buy one. I actually saw this one, which is in this grey colour, which again, seen on Pretty Little Thing for like, even on there, like £40. This one, perfect, like amazing quality, like really thick. That's the thing with like these men blazers, they're going to be thick because not thick they're gonna be good quality because they're from suits and like from these posh places that men get their blazers from suits shall i say i haven't actually heard of this brand before but i'm sure it is a good brand because it feels good so yeah this was the other blazer i love the color uh it's just like a gray kind of proper suit color this was six pounds <laughs> um six pounds for this blazer and i tried it on and again i love the fit of it um not too much shoulder but a little bit um so yeah i will try this on for you right now here we go guys i can't show you very well i'm really not helping myself so this is the gray blazer how nice is this like it's literally like like i say it's the same as the other one i feel like the fit is very similar perfect size oversized but definitely like not giving too much at the shoulders so yeah this was the other one um and again six pounds so could i really go wrong yeah super excited about these i got so excited mainly about these blazers when i picked them up so guys that brings me to the end of the haul i hope you guys enjoyed and have 
seen a few bits that you enjoy or want to pick up i will try and link as much as i can down below obviously i won't be able to link any of the charity shop i maybe will try and link some charity shops that i shop at um so yeah i will link as many charity shops down below that i've shopped at i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys next time bye